Ilayaraja born the 2nd of June 1943, is an Indian film composer, singer, songwriter, instrumentalist, orchestrator, conductor, arranger, and lyricist who works in the Indian film industry, predominantly in Tamil. Widely regarded as one of the greatest Indian music composers, he is credited for introducing Western musical sensibilities in the Indian musical mainstream. Being the first Asian to compose a full symphony with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra in London, Ilayaraja is known to have written the entire symphony in just 13 days which has never been done before in the world. He is also a gold medalist in classical guitar from Trinity College of Music, London, Distance Learning Channel. Reputed to be the world's most prolific composer, he has composed over 7,000 songs, provided film scores for more than 1,000 movies and performed in more than 20,000 concerts. According to Ashale Forler, board member of the Indian Performing Rights Society, the kind of stellar body of work that Ilayaraja has created in the last 40 years should have placed him among the world's top 10 richest composers, somewhere between Andrew Lloyd Webber $1.2 billion and Mick Jagger over $300 million. Ilayaraja is known for integrating Indian folk music and traditional Indian instrumentation with Western classical music techniques. His scores are often performed by the Budapest Symphony Orchestra. He is a recipient of five Indian National Film Awards, three for Best Music Direction and two for Best Background Score. In 2010, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan, the third highest civilian honour in India and the Padma Vibhushan in 2018, the second highest civilian award by the Government of India. In 2012, he received the Sangeet Natak Akademi Award, the highest Indian recognition given to practicing artists, for his creative and experimental works in the music field. In 2003, according to an international poll conducted by BBC, more than half a million people from 165 countries voted his composition Rakama Kaya Thattu from the 1991 film Thalapathi as the fourth in the world's top ten most popular songs of all time. U.S. based World Cinema Portal Taste of Cinema placed Ilayaraja at the ninth position in its list of 25 greatest film composers in the history of cinema, thus becoming the only Indian composer to feature in that list. In a poll conducted by CNN Ibn celebrating 100 years of Indian cinema in 2013, Ilayaraja was voted as the all time greatest film music director of India with a maximum of 49%. Winner of numerous accolades, one of his compositions was part of the playlist for the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympics, directed by acclaimed Oscar-winning filmmaker Danny Boyle of Slumdog Millionaire fame. <laughs> Early life and family Ilayaraja was born as Nanathesakan in 1943 in Panipuram, Theni district, Tamil Nadu, India. When he joined school his father changed his name to Rajaya, but his village people used to call him Rasaya. Ilayaraja joined Dhanraj Master as a student to learn musical instruments and the master renamed and called him just Raja. In his first movie Anakili, Tamil film producer Panchu Arunachalam added Ilaya. Ilaya means younger in Tamil language as a prefix in his name Raja, and he named him as Ilaya Raja, because in the 1970s there was one more music director A. M. Raja who was a popular one. Ilaya Raja was married to Jiva and the couple has three children, Kartik Raja, Yuvan Shankar Raja and Bhavatarini, all film composers and singers. His wife Jiva died on 31 October 2011. Ilayaraja has a brother, Ganjai Amaran, who is also a music director and lyricist in the Tamil film industry. <laughs> Early exposure to music Ilayaraja grew up in a rural area, exposed to a range of Tamil folk music. At the age of 14, he joined a traveling musical troupe headed by his elder brother Pavilar Varadarajan, and spent the next decade performing throughout South India. While working with the troupe, he penned his first composition, a musical adaptation of an elegy written by the Tamil poet laureate Kanadasan for Jawaharlal Nehru, India's first Prime Minister. In 1968, Ilayaraja began a music course with Professor Dhanraj in Madras now Chennai, which included an overview of Western classical music, compositional training in techniques such as counterpoint, and study in instrumental performance. 
Ilayaraja is a gold medalist in classical guitar after completing the course through Distance Learning Channel from Trinity College of Music, London. <laughs> Session musician and film orchestrator In the 1970s in Chennai, Ilayaraja played guitar in a band for hire, and worked as a session guitarist, keyboardist, and organist for film music composers and directors such as Salil Chowdhury from West Bengal. After being hired as the musical assistant to legendary Kannada film composer G. K. Venkatesh, he worked on 200 film projects, mostly in Kannada cinema. As G. K. Venkatesh's assistant, Ilayaraja would orchestrate the melodic outlines developed by Venkatesh. This is the time Ilayaraja learned most of it about composing under the guidance of G. K. Venkatesh. During this period, Ilayaraja also began writing his own scores. To listen to his compositions, he used to persuade Venkatesh's session musicians to play excerpts from his scores during their leisure times. Even today Ilayaraja remembers the golden days with his master G. K. Venkatesh. Film composer In 1975, film producer Panchu Arunachalam commissioned him to compose the songs and film score for a Tamil language film called Anakili. The Parrot. For the soundtrack, Ilayaraja applied the techniques of modern popular film music orchestration to Tamil folk poetry and folk song melodies, which created a fusion of Western and Tamil idioms. Ilayaraja's use of Tamil music in his film scores injected new influence into the Indian film score milieu. By the mid-1980s Ilayaraja was gaining increasing stature as a film composer and music director in the South Indian film industry. He has worked with Indian poets and lyricists such as Kanadasan, Vali, Vairamuthu, O. N. V. Kurup, Srikumaran Thampi, Vettori Sundararama Murthy, Acharya Athreya, Sirivanella Siddharamasastri, Kai. Udaya Shankar and Gulzar and is well known for his association with filmmakers such as Bharathiraja, S. P. Mathuraman, J. Mahendran, Balu Mahendra, K. Balachander, Mani Ratnam, Sathyan Anthakad, Priyadarshan, Fazil, Vamsi, K. Visvanath, Singidam Srinivasa Rao, Bala, Shankar Nag, and R. Balki. <laughs> Impact and musical style Ilayaraja was one of the earliest Indian film composers to use Western classical music harmonies and string arrangements in Indian film music. This allowed him to craft a rich tapestry of sounds for films, and his themes and background score gained notice and appreciation among Indian film audiences. The range of expressive possibilities in Indian film music was broadened by Ilayaraja's methodical approach to arranging, recording technique, and his drawing of ideas from a diversity of musical styles. According to musicologist P. Green, Ilayaraja's deep understanding of so many different styles of music allowed him to create syncretic pieces of music combining very different musical idioms in unified, coherent musical statements. Ilayaraja has composed Indian film songs that amalgamated elements of genres such as Afro-tribal, bossa nova, dance music e.g., disco, doo-wop, flamenco, acoustic guitar propelled western folk, funk, Indian classical, Indian folk, traditional, jazz, march, pathos, pop, psychedelia and rock and roll. By virtue of this variety and his intermingling of Western, Indian folk and Carnatic elements, Ilayaraja's compositions appeal to the Indian rural dweller for its rhythmic folk qualities, the Indian classical music enthusiast for the employment of Carnatic ragas, and the urbanite for its modern, Western music sound. Ilayaraja's sense of visualization for composing music is always to match up with the storyline of the running movie and possibly by doing so, he creates the best experience for the audience to feel the emotions flavored through his musical score. He mastered this art of blending music to the narration, which very few others manage to adapt themselves over a longer time. Although Ilayaraja uses a range of complex compositional techniques, he often sketches out the basic melodic ideas for films in a very spontaneous fashion. Musical characteristics Ilayaraja's music is characterized by the use of an orchestration technique that is a synthesis of Western and Indian instruments and musical modes. 
He uses electronic music technology that integrates synthesizers, electric guitars and keyboards, drum machines, rhythm boxes and MIDI with large orchestras that feature traditional instruments such as the veena, venue, nadaswaram, dolak, merdangam and tabla as well as western lead instruments such as saxophones and flutes. The basslines in his songs tend to be melodically dynamic, rising and falling in a dramatic fashion. Polyrhythms are also apparent, particularly in songs with Indian folk or Carnatic influences. The melodic structure of his songs demand considerable vocal virtuosity, and have found expressive platform amongst some of India's respected vocalists and playback singers, such as T. M. Soundararajan, P. Sushila, S. Janaki, K. J. Yasudas, S. P. Balasubramanyam, Rajkumar, Asha Bosli, Lata Mangeshkar, Jaya Chandran, S. P. Salaja, Jensi, Swarnalatha, K. S. Chitra, Minmini, Sujatha, Malaysia Vasudevan, Kavita Krishnamurti, Haraharan, Udit Narayan, Sadhana Sargam and Shreya Ghoshal. Ilayaraja has sung over 400 of his own compositions for films, and is recognizable by his stark, deep voice. He has penned the lyrics for some of his songs in Tamil. He believes he is the only composer in the world to have composed a song only in the ascending notes. <laughs> Non-cinematic output Ilayaraj's first two non-film albums were explorations in the fusion of Indian and Western classical music. The first, How to Name It, 1986, is dedicated to the Carnatic master Tyagaraja and to J. S. Bach. It features a fusion of the Carnatic form and ragas with Bach partias, fugues and Baroque musical textures. The second, Nothing But Wind, 1988, was performed by flautist Harry Prasad Chaurasia and a 50-piece orchestra and takes the conceptual approach suggested in the title, that music is a natural phenomenon akin to various forms of air currents e.g., the wind, breeze, tempest etc. He has composed a set of Carnatic Critis that was recorded by electric mandolinist U. Srinivas for the album Ilayaraj's Classicals on the Mandolin, 1994. Ilayaraja has also composed albums of religious, devotional songs. His Guru Ramana Geetam is a cycle of prayer songs inspired by the Hindu mystic Ramana Maharshi, and his Tiravasakam, a crossover is an oratorio of ancient Tamil poems transcribed partially in English by American lyricist Stephen Schwartz and performed by the Budapest Symphony Orchestra. Ilayaraj's most recent release is a world music-oriented album called The Music Messiah 2006. Notable works Ilayaraja has composed music for events such as the 1996 Miss World Beauty pageant that was held in Bangalore, India, and for a documentary called India 24 Hours 1996. The soundtrack of My Dear Kudashathan, the first stereoscopic 3D film made in India is composed by him. He has invented a new Carnatic raga called Panchamukhi. He composed the music for Nayakan 1987, an Indian film ranked by Time magazine as one of the all-time 100 best movies. A number of India's official entries to the Oscars, such as Swati Madhyam 1986, Nayagan 1987, Thavar Megan 1992, Anjali 1991, Guru 1997, and Hey Ram 2000, and for Indian art films such as Adore Gopalakrishnan's FIPRESCI prize-winning Najalkuthu, The Shadow Kill. 2002 Topic <inaudible> Awards and Honors Topic <inaudible> 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 Legacy Ilayaraj's song from the 1981 film Ram Lakshman was part of the playlist for the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympics, directed by acclaimed Oscar-winning filmmaker Danny Boyle of Slumdog Millionaire fame. In 2003, according to an international poll conducted by BBC, more than half a million people from 165 countries voted his composition Rikama Kaya Thattu from the 1991 film Thalapathi as fourth in the world's top ten most popular songs of all time. The Black Eyed Peas sample the Ilayaraja composition, Unakam Enakam, from Sri Raghavendra for the song, The Elephunk Theme, on Elephunk. The alternative artist M.I.A. sampled 
Katu Kuyilu from the film Thalapathy for her song, Bamboo Banga, on the album Kala. Ganjasufi sampled Ilayaraja's Ye Hawa Ye Fiza from the movie Sadma. <laughs> Live performances Ilayaraja rarely performs his music live. His last major live performance, the first in 25 years, was a four-hour concert held at the Jawaharlal Nehru Indoor Stadium in Chennai, India on 16 October 2005. He performed in 2004 in Italy at the Teatro Comunale di Modena, an event concert presented for the 14th edition of Angelica, Festival Internazionale di Musica, co-produced with the L'Oltro Suono Festival, on 23 October 2005. A Time for Heroes, sponsored by different agencies including the Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation, saw Hollywood star Richard Gere, Tamil and Telugu stars converging on the city for an evening of infotainment. They spoke in one voice on HIV, AIDS. The event organized at the Gachiboli Indoor Stadium, Hyderabad, on Saturday, the 22nd of October 2005, took off with Maestro Ilayaraj's composition rendered by singer Usha Utup. A television retrospective titled Ithu Ilayaraja, This is Ilayaraja, was produced, chronicling his career. He last performed live at the audio release function of the film Dhoni and before that, he performed a program that was conducted and telecasted by Jaya TV titled Enrendram Raja, Everlasting Raja, on 28 December 2011 at Jahawarlal Nehru Indoor Stadium, Chennai. On 23 September 2012, he performed live in Bangalore at National High School grounds. On February 16, 2013, Ilayaraja made his first appearance in North America performing at the Rogers Centre in Toronto, Canada. The Toronto concert was promoted by Trinity Events for VJTV in India and produced by Sandy Audio Visual Save Productions with PA+. Following his show at Toronto, Ilayaraja also performed at the Prudential Centre Newark, New Jersey on February 23, 2013 and at the HP Pavilion at San Jose on March 1, 2013. After his North America tour he made a live performance at the O2 Arena in London on August 24, 2013, along with Kamal Hassan and his sons Yuvan Shankar Raja and Kartik Raja, Ilayaraja and his team performed live in North America in 2016. They performed at places like San Jose, Seattle, Dallas, Atlanta and New Jersey. In October 2017, he performed live for the first time in Hyderabad and in November in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. In March 2018, he performed live again in the U.S. in Houston, Dallas, Chicago, San Jose, Connecticut, Washington, D.C. and Toronto in Canada. For the first time in his career, Ilayaraja has performed in Sydney with his orchestra in Hillsong Convention Centre on August 11, 2018. Also, in the same month as to celebrate his 75th birth anniversary, a concert was held in Singapore Star Performing Arts Theatre on August 18. Controversies <inaudible> 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 In 2017, Ilayaraja filed a suit in court for copyrights of his songs. He sent legal notices to S.P. Balasubramaniam and Chitra, prohibiting them to sing his compositions. He claims to have filed legal notices in 2015 to various music companies who produced his records. In 2018, Ilayaraja expressed his doubts about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but claimed that the one and only person who has truly experienced resurrection is Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi." It created criticism on social media and had lodged complaint with police commissioner by Christian group for controversial speech against an ultimate belief of Christians. Ilayaraja <inaudible> discography <inaudible> <inaudible> See also List of songs recorded by Ilayaraja <laughs>